ceva cu drumul să cura și noaptea păzesc pe dura. Well, um, the exhibition actually started uh, at least one and a half ago. First thing that I, I was researching was this uh, forestry school in, in, in Timișoara, in Romania, uh, with first grade uh, high school pupils. And they were studying this forestry school because I stumbled this, this school because I was researching actually how is the pedagogic system in Romania in terms of forestry. Well, the video are a treasure. When I went to the forestry school, I met a lot of people which were already working in the forest, like a forest man and so on. I find out that their parents were commissioning folk singer uh, in Romania to sing about their achievements, to sing about that the forest man nowadays in rural Romania is a very powerful person. It's good to be friend with the forest man because forest man can help you in the winter. It's good to be friend with the forest man because he will take care about your wife when you're uh, outside of the country. The forest man, through this myth, through, through those songs, becomes one of the most important person. And what is really striking is that they now, now they wanted to be recognized as a very powerful and very rich man. What was really amazing was this idea that they don't want to stay below the radar. No, they want, they want to be recognized as rich, powerful because of the nature, because of what they're doing in the forest. And there is a, um, a line in their songs which comes every time, was saying that the forest doesn't tell what's happening in the forest to build a myth, because to, only through this myth they can maintain their status. Otherwise, law will come and say, what happened with the forest around this village? So they need to be uh, mythological persons. They, they, they need to be seen as a myth in order to, to keep their immunity and their inamovability. When I got invited to exhibit here, one of the main things that I was, I was thinking is that what's the situation with the, with the forest in, in Czech Republic? I didn't know anything. I started to, to research on the internet to, 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 to figure out how to, how's the bo Bohemian forest. I did. Schwama. Yeah, Schwama. Or, yeah. There were a couple of similitudes with the Romanian forest. I learned that, that there are a lot of people trying to, to cop up with the forest problem here in the uh, Czech Republic in the same manner that we're doing in, the, in Romania. And for me, saving nature, not nature in, in itself, but saving nature, it needs to be thought as a political and seen, and it needs actions. People should take this uh, uh, problem in their hand each one, of, each one of them and uh, try to do something. That's why I asked Karim to help me to exhibit a banner on the hills of uh, Duga Sharka. True nature smells like death. Because for me, what are we calling now nature, it's a, soci it's a social and cultural construct. We are thinking about nature like being that place cleaned by the people civilized by the people and um, keep it in existence for the people. But the nature in itself, it's something, it's, it's something that we, we don't want actually to be there because it's dangerous, because it smells, because there are a lot of dead animals, tree, uh, dead trees which are starting to rot. And that's why I exhibit this banner on this hill and show it somehow to the entire world and show it to Prague, the people that are seeing this exhibition, for them to understand that what I'm trying to give here, it's a tool for personal political action. You don't need money. You don't need to convince anyone to be part of Saving Forest. You just need to assume yourself as being a political uh, person and take whatever is around you, do a protest or do what it needs to be done, actually. Well, I'm, I'm always working with this kind of 
performing for the camera, small actions, it doesn't need to be huge. You don't need to, 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 to ask everyone in, in your neighborhood in order to exhibit your, and, and to show people that you have an opinion. You need small instruments, like a banner, like a piece of paper with a message, the prints. Ah, um, they're black and white because I'm, I, I used to work in a newspaper. That's why the print is like this and that's why the thinner paper, the, the one that, you, that usually newspapers are using, is not uh, about a, uh, a special aesthetic, as in black and white aesthetic. It's just because the, the, the story of, of a newspaper and the story of printing began with black and white. And it's simpler and it's not expansive. It's, uh, it's just a direct message.